Okay, I'm, I'm Zev, and this is going to be the first of many episodes of tutorials on how to work on the Northampton Minecraft server. Uh, today I'm just going to be showing you the basics of playing on the server and opening Minecraft. So you're going to start off on the desktop and you're going to want to open Minecraft. Um, then you're gonna, you're gonna have to be logged in. If you're not logged in, you're gonna have to use someone else. If you don't have your own account, you're gonna have to use someone else's account. And you want to make sure that you're using version 1.8. And this is just version 1.8 with mod um, capabilities. And any other settings you want, and then press play. It will download some stuff and then open up Minecraft. Gonna load takes takes a little while. Um, okay, you're gonna get to this screen. First, you're probably gonna want to go to video settings and change the settings depending on how good your computer is. If you have a pretty bad computer, you're probably gonna want to turn this down to like eight to sixteen, eight to like twelve or so. This computer is very powerful, um, so I've set it up to very far render and if you have a very slow very old computer or really slow set this to fast instead of fancy um you could probably to turn off the fog if you have a bad computer um and a lot of these settings are actually different like this 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 and this and this are all because i have a mod that lets me at um change more settings than usual in minecraft which makes it so that you can really customize it depending on how good your computer is Okay, so next year I want to go to multiplayer. Click add server. Type in Northampton server. And then the server address is northampton.mcpro.co. You're going to want to set server resource packs to enabled. And then you're going to want to double click it, join. It's going to download a resource pack that will let you see all the custom textures that we have for st stuff and it actually won't you actually won't start here you'll start here this is what it will look like when you first join right here okay so now joined so first thing you probably want to do is do slash g m space one or game mode one that sets you to creative, that lets you fly around um, instead of just having to walk. Next thing you probably want to do is you can do slash nick, which sets a nick which makes a nickname so that people can more easily see um, who you are if you don't ha if you um, don't have a username that's similar to your actual name. So I'm gonna set my nickname to Zev. If you ever want to f see how to use these commands or see other commands you have, uh, you'll have access to, you can do slash help, and it will only show you the ones that you have access to. So I'm an admin, so I have access to all of them, so it shows up a lot more for me. Um, okay. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to start walking around. S currently, there aren't, there aren't really any rules here, but there will be a whole wall of rules and stuff like that and news. Um, like a bulletin board kind of along here. You should probably go read that before you join. Okay. What does this say? Oh, uh, yeah. This is what, so you want to go want to go down the stairs. And probably should tell you how to... Um, the commands to you. I mean, the, the controls. Currently, with my setup, left mouse click button breaks blocks and attacks things with like a sword and the right mouse button um places a block and uses an item if you click the middle mouse wheel if you have a laptop you probably don't have one of those um it will select whatever block you're looking at 
Q drops. You probably won't really need that. You probably won't need this either. Inventory. Um, really, you'd only need E. E is really important. That lets you access all the different blocks that you have available. This is a mod thing, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, take a screenshot. F2, F8 makes it like a really smooth camera. F5. Jump. To jump, you have to press space. Sneak, left shift. Move around is A, D, A, W, S, D. It's also common to sometimes change those to all the arrow, the arrow keys. Um, if you press tab, you'll see a list of all the players currently in game. If you press T, that will open the chat. I usually just use the slash and then destroy the sl erase the slash to type in commands. Sorry, there's other people in the room who are being kind of loud. Um, okay, so as I said, space. I, I can, I'm pressing the space bar right now. This will let you jump, shift, will let you sneak. Or if you're flying, shift will also make you move down, um, which isn't so obvious, but that is the way you move down. You don't have to continue. Double tapping space makes you fly instead of just jumping once. And then WASD makes you move around. E. If I, I'm going to press e, the E key. This is all the invent These are all the blocks available to me in creative mode. Pretty much everything in the game. Tab. I'm going to press tab. It's only me on right now, so yeah. Slash. That's what I usually use to do slash help. Slash. Time set. That changes the time. Time set day. Weather. Clear. You don't need these commands. I was just um, I'm just giving you examples of how you type in commands. You can do um, if you just type in T, it doesn't add this slap, and it set you can say hello. And zip. Okay. Um, left mouse button breaks blocks. Middle mouse, as I just did, places them. Another thing, if you go up to a block, if you can see, there's like a little, you can see the little black box around the block that shows you what you're looking at. If you see in the center, there's also that little like plus sign that shows you where you're, what you're looking at, like the center of your view. If you click the middle mouse button, it will let you select that specific block. So you don't have to go, you don't have to find it in your inventory here. Instead of going down all the way here, if I'm working on something and try to add on to something, I could just go this. That, that's this. That will be very useful for this project, for the door and stuff, um, when you're trying to um, improve stuff you've already built or things like that. Okay, let's see what else. Um, Qs to drop items. So I go to one Q, that just drops it. Um, if you scroll the mouse wheel, it will switch between different items in your inventory. As you can see here. If you want to clear your inventory, you can do slash clear. They'll clear your inventory. Okay. If you really want, if you want to sprint, really go fast, you can hold down the control, left control, or you can just double tap um, the forward W key, which is what I usually do. Um, anything else? Oh, escape is to is to get to this um, pause and setting and stuff. Okay, now I'm just going to show you a couple different things about the basics of just getting around on the server and stuff like that. Okay, so if you do slash warp, that will list all the different warps. This is like a fast travel system. So if I do slash warp, um, city hall, this sends me right in front of city hall. But if I do city hall spawn, it sends me to there. If I go warp NHS... This is Northampton High School, probably almost a mile away from city from the downtown. Warp Starbucks. This is Starbucks. We actually built a little bit of an in. Of in oh, someone added on to it. Interesting. So I think this is actually pretty much what Starbucks actually looks like. I think there's like a bath bathroom over here, but whatever. Um, next thing. Let's see. Oh, you could do warp thorns if you wanted to. Oh my 
gosh. Kids in the back are really annoying me. Um, okay. Uh, anything else for right now? Let's see. Oh, TP. If you do slash TP, that sensors teleport. You might also be able to just do like this. Teleport. Zev613 to... Um, M M M M L G Blue Devil. I think that's what it is. That's one of the other kids. But um, if you also do T P P O S, that will send you to position. Then what you can do is you could do position one one hundred one. Just tell him where to me to. If you go to the if you press F three, it also shows you more info which is really useful actually if you see um right here it says xyz negative 11 9 and 68 is your height negative 13 is your y is your x and y is um negative 39 right now it also will show you frames per second which can be helpful if you're like lagging and try to figure out what the problem is okay let's see um, to get back, you can, or you can also just do slash back. They'll send you to your previous location. If you for some reason want to um, be sent back to your spawn point, and or for some reason you want to kill yourself, which just um, makes you start over pretty much, you just can do. S uh, actually, I don't think you can do that. If you do slash suicide, I think that works, yeah. But you probably won't need that. If you do slash AFK, that can be helpful. It will just tell everyone that you're not... The AFK stands for away from keyboard. That just tells everyone that you walked away for a second or two, or a minute or two, and you'll be back. Maybe you went to the bathroom or something. Um... When you're doing help, you can do slash help two, three, four. The number will, there's multiple pages usually. Um, oh my gosh. If you want to send a message to one specific player, you can do slash message. So six and three. It's me. It's a private message. Um, you can also do list that will list all the current players. Um, just try. If you do slash rules, that will list all the rules. Right now, these are just the only the ones we're listing. Um, oh, this is useful. Speed. If you do slash speed, flying, five. This will set my flying speed as five. And if you see, when I go outside and start flying around, it's much faster. If I do slash flying 10, it's just really fast. Um, if I do speed walking 10, let's see, run around really fast. If you do speed walking 0 0.5, it makes you walk really slow. 1 is the default. Oh, uh, if you, when, you're, when you're in command or chat, so like, it will... Um, if you press the up arrow, it will show you previous ones you can access to redo oh no, redo a command if you want to. Um, I think that's it for right now. Oh wait. Um,
Okay, I, th I think that's it for right now. Um, um, I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.